Hi there, my name is William Morris Davis and this is the story of my life. I was born in Philadelphia in February 1850. I attended Harvard University where I obtained a bachelor's degree and a master's in engineering. Following my graduation in 1870, I researched atmospheric conditions whilst working at the Argentine Meteorological Observatory. After three years, I returned to Harvard as assistant to Professor Shaler and spent the following 35 years as professor of physical geography and geology there. I subsequently taught at universities around the world, including Berlin and Stanford. Throughout my lifetime, I've travelled to six continents, joined over 20 geographical and geological societies, and gained medals including one from the Royal Geographical Society. I founded the Association of American Geographers, of which I was the former president. My expanding interest in science and geography led me to become author and co-author of more than 500 books and articles. In 1889, one of my most notable writings was published, The Rivers and Valleys of Pennsylvania. During my research, I was influenced by Darwin's concept of evolution and his 1842 study on the evolution of the coral reefs. Another major influence was the Neo-Lamarckian theory of biological evolution. This led me to propose my theory, the cycle of erosion, which I describe as the cycle of life, as it represents the geomorphological development of the Earth's landscape. Structure, process and time are core elements of this. The cycle begins with the uplift of region due to tectonic activity, followed by three stages. The first stage, youth, occurs when rivers cut into the ground, creating narrow V-shaped valleys. As water drains downwards, erosion continues, leaving the summits of the inner valley surface ineffected. As a result, steep slopes are formed. Once valleys have been eroded as deeply as possible, the landform has entered the maturity stage. Graded streams drain the entire landscape and the original surface is exposed to blue processes. Valleys flatten and widen as vertical erosion slows and horizontal erosion speeds up. Old age is reached when denudation is reduced and the landscape is wholly low relief. Eventually erosion ends when land reaches the base level and a pennant plane is formed. My work has influenced many others including Johnson who worked closely with me at Harvard. He took inspiration from my own terminology and working hypothesis. The cycle of erosion has not always been widely accepted, with critics arguing that there is not enough evidence linking slope gradient with age. Despite criticism, since my death in 1934, my ideas remain in research and textbooks.